I was planning on doing a video today on an article that I read and I'm not going to talk about what the article is about because I'm going to do a video on it in the future. But I wanted to talk to you all, especially the people who are trying to increase their credit scores. I recently, the other day I received a comment and I'm not going to put him on blast. I'm not going to mention his name, but he was saying how the whole credit scoring thing is like chasing a rainbow. And I understand completely. A lot of people get discouraged when it comes to credit scores and how the credit scoring models work. And what I have to tell you all is you have to take out time to understand how credit scoring works for your own credit report. I keep saying this. If you're new here, you're probably not aware of me saying this, but everyone else, all of my current subscribers, you should be used to me saying that by now that you have to go by your own credit report because credit scoring is case by case. Now, he was saying that, you know, he keeps his utilization at a good point and he pay off his bill and things like that. And his score still won't go up to where he wanted to be. And I was there at one point. That's why I like to get on here and talk to you all because I was there just about at any phase and any stage of trying to grow your credit score. I was there. I was in the 500s. I was in the 600s. I was in the 700s and I worked my way up to 800s. But when you're in those stages where you're trying to crack through the door as far as you're trying to get to the 800s or you're trying to get to the 700s and it just seems like you're doing something wrong, there's a great possibility that you are doing something wrong. So you have to really look at credit scoring from a problem solving standpoint where if you figure out that one area of your credit report isn't the issue, you need to go and look at the next area. You're going to keep going from one area to the next, to the next, to the next. And eventually you're going to find something that is probably the issue. Like for me, my credit score has stayed stuck at a 660 and it was frustrated. I was like, why isn't my score going up? Why isn't my score going down? My utilization was less than 10%. I was keeping my utilization down. I was paying on time. I wasn't going out and applying for new lines of credit. I wasn't receiving any hard inquiries, so I couldn't figure out why wasn't my score going up and it wasn't going down either. So I did enough research and I finally realized that I didn't have enough credit mix. I needed a credit mix. I just had credit cards, so I needed to add a credit mix. And for some of you, I'm not saying that is the issue, but there is something that you're missing. Maybe you apply for too many credit cards. Maybe your balance is high because I did a recent video on this. A lot of times people try to trick the credit scoring system with utilization. They'll max out their card and then they'll pay it before their statement ends and be like, hey, they're not gonna catch me with a high utilization. But you never know. You never know when that credit card company is going to report unless you ask them when they're going to report. Now, people try to come by and they argue this, but you really can't argue it. This is documented by the credit bureaus. So you have to make sure you know when your credit card is being reported every month. You don't want to assume that's the worst thing you can do is assume. Another thing, people always have this debate about utilization, but I tell you all, that credit scoring is case by case. So you have to find a utilization that works right for your credit report. Just because 4% utilization works well for one person don't mean that it will work well for your credit report. I tell people this often, take about three to six months to find out what works well for your credit report. You have to take time. In order to figure this credit scoring thing out, you really need to dedicate time, three to six months, sometimes even longer than that, in order to figure out how it really works for your own credit report because that's what it's based on. It's based on your own credit report. You can watch all the YouTube videos on credit scoring. That's possible. You can watch all the credit card videos. You can read all of the articles. You could join Facebook groups. You can join groups outside of the internet. Whatever you may do, what matters is your own credit report and how things work in regards to your credit report. Until you figure out what works well for your credit report, you probably will continue to struggle because yes, the knowledge is out there, but you still have to apply what you learn. So take those three to six months to figure out why your score isn't going up or why it's going down and really learn your credit report. Learn what works for it. Learn what doesn't work for it. You know, people often ignore this advice, but 
It does work for a lot of people. It has worked. It worked for myself. It worked for plenty of other people as well. Take out those three to six months, sometimes even longer. Figure out what's helping your credit report and what's not helping it. Your score would be a great indicator of what is and what isn't. Do that. Take out that time because I know it can get discouraging. I was discouraged, you know, nine months having a 660 when you're trying to build up your score. That's discouraging. But you have to continue to press through it because this is something that we're going to have to deal with for the rest of our lives. We're going to have to try to master our credit scores for the rest of our lives. And that takes knowing your credit report and knowing it well. So know your credit report inside and out. And then take out those three to six months and see if those results that you desire start coming through. Even if it's your score jumping up one or two or three or four, however many points that it does increase, as long as it's increasing, count that as a win. It may not hit 700s immediately or in that six month range, but as long as it's increasing, that's a good thing. But anyways, if you're new here and you're feeling the vibe over here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications because I do post often. This goes to all of you. Be sure to hit the like button. The algorithm loves the like button. The like button actually helps this channel. So if you support this Water Your Soil channel, hit the like button. I know a lot of you watch this channel. A lot of you watch it signed into YouTube. So just hit the like button while you're still here. That's your way of showing support. This is Water Your Soil. I appreciate you all for watching. Stay encouraged. I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right?